Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So with everything that is happening with this contagion, I want to take the time to go over a few things in the lines of fortifying, protecting, and maintaining your health through something that can really no longer be ignored. You see, nothing spreads like fear. And one of the ways you can conquer that fear is by gaining confidence in our ability to battle this thing and win. We as human beings have always had to deal with plague and infectious diseases. And even after we get through this ordeal, there will come a time when we will have to deal with something like this in the future. So right now it would be within our best interest to gain the knowledge so that we will have the ability to slay this dragon. Now you've probably have already heard that there is no known cure for this disease that is continuing to spread among us. How many of you believe that? Because if you truly believe that, then I don't know what else to tell you. Keep in mind, even though no two viruses are exactly the same, they are all essentially composed the same way with a certain set of molecules. They attach themselves to, hijack, and eat away at the DNA. So let's discuss this and see if we can gain a better understanding of how these things work and the simple and advanced resolutions to this issue. This is war and we are caught in the battle against an unseen force which is the hardest thing to fight but this thing can be defeated just need the right arsenal. So what I want to do is, I want to lay this out for you so that you can understand why most of what you need to do are very simple things. I already understand that for many of you, money may be an object. I understand that many of you use recreational drugs. You may smoke, drink alcohol, things of that nature. And many of you use pharmaceutical drugs. And for some who need it, I get it. And what I want to present to you should not be intrusive and it should only benefit your well-being. So we are going to go slow. And you will find that not only can this be beneficial to your health overall, you will find that you can have a lot of fun doing these things. And you will feel better overall doing so. So first things first. Right now, there are many, many people out there who could have literally pounds of fecal matter stored in their gut. The reason I bring that up is because that fecal matter is loaded with toxins and it is blocking or hindering the body's ability to absorb nutrients. You need to get those toxins out first. You need to cleanse the colon because the truth is in any health protocol, you want to maximize the absorption of nutrients, which is going to be hard to do if the walls of your intestine is coated in fecal matter. Make sense? Okay. I recommend going back and watching what you need to know about toxins and cleansing, the first protocol. Next, right now, many of you are dehydrated and don't even know it. Even if you drink a lot of water, and what I mean is, your body does not absorb every ounce of water that you consume. It comes down to the purity and the amount you consume at one time. I drink distilled and have been for a long time now. Also, you do not want to sit there and chug a 12 ounce, 16 ounce bottle of water. Most of that is going to run straight through you. Four ounces at a time is a good amount for your body to absorb every 30 minutes to an hour if you're going to be consuming water all day, not including the hours when you sleep. Hydration is a key factor to fighting disease. That's why one of the first things they do when you are hospitalized 
is they hook you up to an IV. They already know that you're dehydrated. It's saline solution, sodium chloride, and purified water. Salt water. Not that you need to add salt to purified water. You should get enough sodium in the foods you eat. So cleansing and hydration are two key factors to getting your body where it needs to be when fighting off infectious diseases or viruses. Next are the foods you should be consuming to start building your defense. Keep in mind that when it comes to whole foods, you want to obtain it in the rawest form possible. You really don't want anything frozen or that comes in a box, bag, can, or jar with added ingredients. Or in other words, anything heavily processed or irradiated. And for the love of God, stop eating food out of the microwave. Do you know what you're putting into? Eat it cold. Use the oven. Use the stove. It's usually in the same area as the microwave. It takes a few more minutes. You're not that hungry. Now let's talk about the foods you want to get into the habit of consuming. This includes whole foods, superfoods, herbs, and spices. And these are in no particular order. And I will try to briefly explain what each one does as I go through them. Everything is very common and easy to obtain. Apples and oranges, for example. Apples and blueberries are potent sources for antioxidants. More blueberries than apples as you don't want to overdo it on the sugar intake when it comes to larger fruits. Oranges or the orange peel, orange zest, are great for a very absorbable form of vitamin C. You take lemon and orange zest, let it dry out, crush it, and you can mix it in a liquid and you've got yourself a good dose of vitamin C. Great for colds and flus. Now everybody loves broccoli, right? Right? I mean, this stuff is not to be taken for granted. It has molecules or natural occurring chemicals like sulforaphan that can activate enzymes in certain immune cells. And you can eat it raw, steamed, I wouldn't overcook it. That and spinach for some extra vitamin C. Good foods for fighting viruses. Garlic and ginger, of course. Anti-inflammatory foods are good for boosting your immune system. You can add ginseng to that list as well. Speaking of anti-inflammatory, extra virgin olive oil is an oil you want to cook with above most. Mainly because of its immune boosting properties and its availability. A nice dark olive oil is good. Salmon, that's wild caught, not farmed raised. If you eat meat, zinc rich foods are great for combating flu or cold like viruses and eggs, especially the yolks, very high in vitamin D, which if you are not taking a supplement for, I can almost guarantee that most of you are not getting enough vitamin D that you need from the sun. Getting hungry yet? Okay, moving along. Apple cider vinegar, my goodness, this stuff is like a disinfectant that you can drink. Powerful, powerful stuff. Combine that with raw honey and ginger, a little extra virgin olive oil. You see how this works, folks. Make sure you get the raw and unfiltered stuff, too. You want all that goodness. Probiotics are key to respiratory immunity against infections. Eat whole foods, though. Yogurt, leafy greens, fermented foods like sauerkraut, also kombucha, kimchi, kefir. These are all great and accessible things you can consume to get that healthy gut flora going. Shiitake mushrooms. Now, shiitake mushrooms are known for containing molecules that can hinder viral replication. And they have a high percentage of effectiveness on these types of infections. You know, there are a bunch of spices and herbs that people have in their cabinets that are antiviral, like cinnamon, oregano, licorice, sage, fennel seed, basil, rosemary, echinacea, dandelion, golden seal, St. John's wort, calendula, olive leaf, elderberry, curry, and I mean the good curry you get from the Middle Eastern, Asian, or Caribbean market. The stronger the odor, the better. Also, curcumin and turmeric. Great stuff for fighting viruses and stopping the virus from replicating. Actually, stopping the virus from functioning properly. 
Much of these things can be brewed into teas, which is something you also want to get into the habit of drinking, if you don't already. I mean, if you drink coffee, that's okay, but I would consider switching over to herbal teas with some of these things in them, more often than not, just to get some of this stuff in the bloodstream. Add that raw honey to help carry those nutrients to the cells. No sugar. Now all of the whole foods that I have covered so far, you want to start consuming on a regular basis, if you haven't already. There are a few exceptions due to allergies, like some may be allergic to fish, but that is mainly due to the toxicity of fish in today's world. I left grains out because some people have gluten sensitivities and your body tends to process those into sugar. It's tricky with grains because some are definitely absolutely healthy for you. I'll tell you, flax seeds and hemp seeds are great for what we are dealing with. By the way, you don't want anything that could be a GMO food product or hybrid food like navel oranges. You want oranges with the seeds. Some of the superfoods I left out of this presentation because they are not as accessible, but I will cover them in another presentation. If you are thinking about supplements to help fight off viruses, think minerals. Minerals are the key. Certain minerals will actually enter the cell and pull out those viruses. Zinc, colloidal silver, colored sea salt, pink salt are loaded with most of the minerals your body needs and minerals don't play around when it comes to viruses. They are, in my opinion, the most powerful weapon against viruses. For example, I take trace minerals in colloidal suspension. The best I've used so far is Dr. Mortar's best trace minerals. And colloidal silver, gold, zinc, they're all in there. I mean, if you get a cut, this stuff will stop the bleeding on contact. Put it in juice or water, it will actually stop internal bleeding that some people don't even know they have. One of the ways you can tell if you had internal bleeding after taking this stuff is your stool will come out black. I mean, I keep a bottle of this stuff in my jacket pocket, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, at all times. And it's not that expensive for what it does. Usually I'll order two or three bottles at a time. So I'm going to do some more investigating and research so I can find the best natural ways to fight what we are up against. Even if this is some lab designed fast spreading contagion, most people who get infected will beat it. These things don't stand a chance, especially if you fortify your body with these things I have just discussed. You absolutely have the power to beat this, if it comes your way. Do not get scared, just be prepared. And we will get back to this with more information. So until then, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe everybody, and I'll talk to you all soon.